Hey everybody, so in this video we're still talking about 7.3. This is part two where we're going to talk about log equations. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is talk about the plan for solving log equations. Okay, so our first step like it is for a lot of equations recently when we talked about log equations or power equations, we're going to isolate the main part. So here it's going to be the log. Okay. Once we have the log isolated, then we're going to change to exponential form. Okay. That's why we practice this in the first video. Well, one of many reasons, but this is one of the reasons we practice changing to exponential form in the first video for 7.3 because we are going to use that to solve these equations. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do is finish solving normally. Okay, and we are actually in these types of equations going to check for extraneous solutions. So we remember extraneous solutions from when we talked about square root equations. They're solutions that come up naturally from solving the equation. They're not an issue, okay, but they are not actually solutions. They're fake solutions, okay? So let's look at some examples here. Okay, now this equation, the log part is already isolated, so we can see that we have log base 4 of x is equal to 3. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the log is already isolated, okay? So we're going to go ahead and change to exponential form. So remember, the base of the log becomes the base of the exponent, okay? The answer is my exponent. Okay, and then this is the other side of my equation. Okay, now the only step that we need to take to finish solving this, okay, is just to say what 4 cubed is. So that's 64. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and check my answer. Okay, again, I'm checking for extraneous solutions. I'm not checking for mistakes, although it will help me discover if I have a mistake. Okay, so I would have log base 4 of 64 is equal to 3, and that's true. Okay, all right. Let's look at another example, one that's slightly more complicated. Okay, so again, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to isolate the log, okay? So we can see here's our log. This is what we want to isolate, okay? So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides, okay? And then we're going to divide both sides by 3. Okay, now that we have our log isolated, we can go ahead and change to exponential form. So the base of the log becomes the base of our exponent. Okay, here's my exponent. Remember, logs are exponents, so the whole log is going to be equal to the exponent. Okay, and then my other side is the input value x. Okay, now this is my exact answer. 
okay? And if I want an approximate answer, I can always put this into the calculator, okay? Now I know this isn't gonna come out even, right? Because the three in the denominator of this exponent means I'm talking about the cube root of seven, okay? Well, seven doesn't have a cube root. So that's how I know it's not gonna be an even number, okay? So I have seven to the two thirds power, Okay, and this is approximately 3.66. Okay, so this is my approximate answer. All right. So remember that no matter how many decimal points you write out, this will never be an exact answer. Okay, the only reason you could get an exact answer is if seven were a perfect cube, you could take the cube root by hand and then you would just square it. Okay, all right, let's look at one more example like this, and then we'll look at some different types of examples. Oops, can't see that, here we go. Oops, plus seven equals 16. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do here is isolate the log, okay? So here's our log. We're gonna isolate that by subtracting seven from both sides. Okay, and then dividing both sides by three. Now that we have the log isolated, we can change to exponential form. So I have, oops, I forgot to actually divide that side by three. We can change to exponential form. So I get two, the base of the log becomes the base of my exponent. Here's my exponent three, okay, equals x plus three. Okay, now I can solve this normally. I know that two cubed is eight, and now I can divide or subtract three from both sides. So I get five equals X. All right. So that's it for these types of examples. There's not much more to be seen here, right? We have an example where you have to isolate it, okay? And then you also have to take an extra step after you've changed to exponential form to solve for X, okay? So let's look at a different type of log equation. Okay, now the reason this is different than the previous examples is the previous examples all had our variable in here, okay? Now the difference for this one is that our variable is in the base, okay? But we're actually gonna use exactly the same method to solve, okay? So first we're gonna isolate our log, so we'll subtract one from both sides. and then we'll divide both sides by two. Okay. Now that we have our log isolated, we can change to exponential form. So the base of our log becomes the base of the exponent. Here's my exponent, and then my answer is 16, okay? Now, I do need to do something to solve this, right? I'm trying to solve for b, I need to get rid of the square, okay? But I know how to solve a square type of equation. Okay. So here I get my value is b, and here I get plus or minus four, okay? 
Now, it's important at this stage that we note something, okay? I don't think I mentioned this in the last video, but I do want to mention it now. Okay, so it's true about logarithmic functions, but it's also true about exponential functions that they have to have a positive base, okay? So, or they don't have the characteristics that logarithmic and exponential functions are supposed to have. So that tells us that our base B can't really be negative four, okay? That's an extraneous solution, and our real solution is B equals positive four. Okay, so this is really our solution. Okay, and b equals negative four is an extraneous solution. Okay, all right. Let's look at another example like that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and isolate our log by subtracting one from both sides. Okay, and then dividing both sides by four. Okay, now that I have my log isolated, I'm gonna change to exponential form. So I'll have b to the 3 fourths equals eight. Okay. Now we do know how to solve this type of equation. This is a power equation. Okay. So I have my exponential term or my power term isolated. Now I'm going to change to radical form. So I have the fourth root of B cubed. Okay. Now to get rid of the cube, I'm going to cube root both sides. Okay, so the cube root and the cube will cancel. I get fourth root of b. And over here, the cube root of eight is two. Now to get rid of the fourth root, I'm gonna use the fourth power. Okay, the fourth root and the fourth power cancel to give me b, and two to the fourth is 16, okay? So when we check that we're allowed to have this as a base, it is a positive value. So that means it's a real solution, a true solution, and not an extraneous solution. Okay. All right. Those are the two types of log equations. Okay. In our third video about this section, which is the last video, we're going to talk about exponential equations. So I will see you guys soon.